Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Today I am finally sharing with you the first six months in my decorated planner. So we can just get right into it. And actually I need to flip back like one page. This is the Michael's Recollections Vertical Planner. This was the uh, 2020 to 2021 version in the uh, neutral vertical style. So I gravitated towards that because that's kind of the style that I was used to to planning with. I really like vertical style planners and this was a cheaper option that was available to me. So I left the first six months of the planner in here. I used the July through December pages for my teaching planning, lesson planning, making lists of you need to grade this many papers this day so that you don't miss your deadline, that type of thing. So I've left them in because I used them, but if my planner starts to bulk up, I will take them out. We are just going to look at the January through June pages that I decorated with stickers because that's the fun part. For most of these spreads, for the weekly spreads anyway, I did film Plan With Me's, so if you are new to my channel and have not watched my other Plan With Me's dating back to January and even before then, I've been filming Plan With Me's for quite some time now. Uh, I recommend you go check those out if you want more details, but otherwise I'm just gonna flip through kind of say where the stickers are from and point out a couple highlights of the week. I'm going to try to not make this video too long because sometimes these get really long and I wonder why I rambled so much. <laughs> so like I said, starting with January, my monthly views this year, I'm just kind of using whatever I have left. I have a lot of stickers that just don't end up getting used because either they were like part of a kit and there was just way too much that I, more than I could use, or I have like sticker books that people gave me or freebies that I got at planner con, stuff like that. So I'm trying to use all that stuff up. Also, like this planner and my old Erin Condren planners all came with stickers in them too, and there was just like more stickers than I could actually use in a year. So using them now. So I kind of went with like a wintry theme for January, even though January is not snowy here in Southern California, at least not in the valley where I live. Uh, if you go up into the mountains, there's snow, sure. Uh, if you don't know, I use my monthly spreads to track what book or books I'm reading, my paydays. Uh, I use these types of labels for the videos that I upload here on YouTube. And I mark birthdays in case I forget to mark them in the weekly spread. And then I started marking stuff with our cat because in January we adopted a cat and you'll see that weekly spread in here. So that was really exciting. I'll also mark like big things that happen. Like we had our phone interview with the adoption agency that we went with for our cat. I had a game night. So if I have space, if like it's looking really bare, I will fill in with like big events that happen. January through July this year, I feel like, or January through June, I should say, because that's what we're going to talk about in this video. The most change I've probably seen in a six month period, just as to how we are living our lives. Uh, that's, you know, the tail end of this, this pandemic. So it's what my life looked like in January is very different than what it looked like in June. I'll just say that. So this is the first weekly spread of 2021. I used this kit called Better Year by Bella Planella. I think she's a UK shop and this is the only kit I bought from her, but I really, really loved this art. I loved the colors. This was the week we finally signed our lease with our landlord here. We have been living in this apartment since the end of July last year, 2020, but we were uh, staying here. Someone else had the lease who I knew and she needed somebody to stay here while she was gone. Uh, and then in January, we all decided that we should just take over the lease. So that's where we're at now. If you want to know more about that, I did film like plan with me's and also moving vlogs last summer. So you can take a look at that. I don't know. I always love watching people's moving content. However, I am also so happy to not be moving this summer. <sighs> I'm glad to have a summer off of moving things. What else happened this week? Um... Oh, I got my last villagers <laughs> photo in Animal Crossing, uh, so that was fun. I really don't trade out my villagers or let them go. I just make them live on my island forever, I guess. But yeah, I finally got the last of my, what, like eight, ten villagers photos, so that was exciting, I guess. 
and we started moving stuff out of our storage unit because from July of last year to January of this year we had a lot of such stuff in storage because the other person's furniture was here. Oh, Nathan made homemade gyoza this night. That was good. So there are going to be like a couple things covered up and there's going to be one spread I don't don't share at all because uh, there were some things that happened that are not really my story to share. So I'm uh, just not going to share that one. I hope you understand. Um, so if you see anything covered up, that yes, that was on purpose. So this was a like essential mini kit from Cinderella Paper. I buy a lot of her essential kits, but I also buy a lot of her ultimate kits. Uh, so it's like some sort of wintry stay home art. So I wanted to use that for my winter break since we were very much staying at home. Uh, there was a huge COVID surge here in Southern California during this time, so I was not messing around. Uh, we got my, my new desk, the desk that I'm currently filming on. It's I love it. I have loved it since I've gotten it, and it's been I think it was a great choice. I had to prep for the semester, so I, I, I teach at a university, so the semester didn't start until like two weeks later, but I needed to have everything prepped and ready to go for my department. I was also working on my uh, lecture evaluation packet, which was kind of stressful. Um, and we were still watching all the Star Wars movies at this point, I guess. And every Sunday, like in January, I think we went to our storage unit <laughs> to get stuff out. This is another kit from Cinderella Paper, another wintry stay home type of thing. Oh, this was when, oh no, not there. This was when I saw my kitty's photo on the internet. I was on Instagram and I also have vlogs and plan with me is explaining all of this too. So if you want all the details about my cat, because you also love cats, go back and watch those. Um, yeah, I was watching the inauguration on YouTube and I was also scrolling on Instagram and I saw this cat and I messaged it to Nathan who was working in the other room and he came into the room and was like do you want to fill out the survey for her like the adoption survey I'm like sure so that started that whole process we had a virtual uh, phone interview with best friends animal society on Saturday morning just to go over paperwork or not paperwork like her medical things and her history and then we had a virtual meet and greet with our cat. We got on Microsoft Teams and, uh, you know, video called with her foster person where she had only been in that foster home for like one day. <laughs> so she didn't really even know that much about her. So we, we just kind of signed up for this cat and uh, it's worked out wonderfully because we didn't even meet her in person before we agreed to adopt her. <laughs> We closed our storage unit, so that was good. And then we go to the cutie spread. So this is from the Prairie Planner. It's called Cat Mom. She has a dog mom one, too. So if you don't have cats but you have dogs, she's got you. Um, yeah, we brought home our kitty this day. So we decided on Monday. They gave us time to decide because they're a, a more of like a private rescue. Instead of a county shelter, they could give us that option, which was very helpful, actually. Um, we decided we wanted to adopt her, and then this day we went and picked her up, and I put some photos of her first night here. She looks very different now. Like, her fur got longer, and she, like, she's not fatter, but, like, she just, like, isn't so skinny scrawny anymore, which is good. I think she's had a very stressful life, so now she can relax and just be herself. Um, this was also the first week of the semester, so I was teaching my first round of classes this week for the semester, so that was pretty funny. She sat in my lap, she sat in the window, I was just like marking all of the things she did because I'm like, I love my cat so much. She's the best. It was also rainy this week. I mark when it rains because it's a very rare occurrence. We also went to Ikea and we named her Genevieve. It took us several days to name her, I know. I just wanted to make sure we got the perfect name because she's like the perfect cat. So then February, still a lot of staying home and distancing. This is from Oh Hello Co. This was one of their subscription kits, but I think they actually have this in the shop as a regular weekly kit now. So uh, if you are going to permanently work from home, this might be the kit for you. I don't have that option. I am going back to work in August and yeah, my job's never gonna be permanently work from home unless I sign up to work for an online univers university. So 
which I'm not really into. So yeah, this was the second week of the semester. I showed my cat to my Zoom class and it was so cute. I love my students a lot of the time. Um, getting to know our cat, she would get really playful, especially at night. So she'd go a little wild cat. <laughs> what else happened this week? Nathan's birthday was gonna be the next week. So um, we went to his parents and they gave him gifts and stuff. We got our couch, which was a pain in the butt to assemble. I did weekly vlogs like the first like three months of the year. So again, go back and check them out if you want to know more details. I loved this one. This was from Cinderella Paper. This was another essential kit and this was just the perfect birthday kit for this year because my boyfriend and my one of my sisters have the same birthday. They're exactly 10 years apart. It's one of my fun facts about my life. Um, and Nathan's really into Star Wars. My sister is a big Kylo Ren fan. <laughs> so when this art came out, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so perfect for February. I have to have it. So yeah, this was great. What happened this week? I played with the kitty. We celebrated the birthdays, obviously. I decided not to go to something that I put in on stickers. Oh, go to something on Zoom. Nathan's family dropped by to drop off birthday gifts. I watched Parks and Rec because Valentine's Day, obviously. Nathan made homemade bow. And then obviously Valentine's Day. And I unpacked all my books, which I showed again in a vlog. These were leftovers from a kit from Cinderella Paper called Cabin. We did some hiking because we both had this day off because it was President's Day. What else? Just, you know, snuggling up with the kitty. Lots of meetings. We're in the thick of the semester at this point. I finished my lecture portfolio and submitted it. And, you know, like a month, like a month to two months later, I got the evaluation from the peer review committee and then from my boss, the department chair, and both seemed good. So that's good. I still have a job. <laughs> this thing really stressed me out. It was my first time ever doing this. And I was really worried that I was going to not put my best foot forward, but apparently I did. So everything's great. Cool. Moving on. This is another kit from Oh Hello. I don't think they have this one in the shop currently, but they always end up bringing stuff back with old art anyway. I love this one. I've used this one several times. I call them my terrarium turtles. I filed my taxes, which turned out to be a mistake because then they changed things about taxes after I did my taxes. <laughs> so that was fun. Got a new rug for the living room, I think. More hiking. Then we celebrated one month with our kitty cat. I put up the wine decals on the wall in the kitchen. So those are cute. I didn't write down what I ate for dinner on Monday. That's weird. Hopefully I ate dinner on that Monday. I don't know. And then we head into March. And this is when we were able to get our COVID vaccines. And life felt a little easier. <laughs> kind of. So... Yeah, obviously it was like the anniversary of the pandemic, which was fun, but at the same time it was like, okay, at least we're getting vaccines and we were able to both get them relatively early because of our jobs, which is like, we could talk about how that's not great or great. It depends on your perspective. It, I had very mixed feelings about it because it's like, well, I'm technically working from home, so it's not like I need it, but like if I can get it, I'm going to get it. And Nathan felt the same way. So that was cool. These were leftovers from the moving kit that I used in July of last year and the last week of December of last year, so I just decided to use them because they were pastel. I was kind of obsessing over vaccine appointments because I knew that my group education employees were eligible, but I was not able to find an appointment for several days, and I was really stressing out about it because like, I, it just kind of felt like I, I was going to miss my, my shot. My, miss my opportunity to get it, you know? So it was kind of stressful, um, but it all worked out. Um, so yeah, I was like really obsessing over it because, oh, this was the other thing. I had to accept classes for fall in person because I teach first year writing. So like, it's kind of a priority to have that in person. And plus they're only, only 25 student classes. So like it's considered small enough that like we could schedule for in person, but I was having to make that decision 
before I had a vaccine appointment, before I had any certainty that I was going to get a vaccine. So like that was kind of making me nervous. I hope that makes sense. But on Thursday, I finally was able to book an appointment, which was super exciting. So I put it in my planner with stickers and everything because I had booked it for Saturday in like Lake Elsinore, which is like an hour, over an hour away from me. I was that determined to get this thing, guys. And then like later that day, I realized I could get it through my health insurance much closer to me, like a 20 minute drive away. So I ended up canceling the Saturday appointment. And in the next week, you'll see I got it on Monday. There's a peacock on our roof. I also vlogged that. Not our roof, our neighbor's roof. It was weird. Not sure what happened to him. <laughs> Lots of animal event adventures around here. So then this Monday I got my first dose of Moderna, so that was great. It was like, okay, we got this process started. But then it was like four weeks of like, gosh, I hope they don't run out when I go back for my second dose. But they didn't. Spoiler. <laughs> Did not feel great the next day. Uh, my arm hurt a lot. That was my only symptom with the first dose of Moderna, but it meant that I did not sleep very well because I am a side sleeper. So that was that was fun, but you know what? I got through it. And if I had to get that vaccine at any point, it was good that it was during this semester when I was only teaching two classes and tutoring one, and like I always scheduled it for a Monday afternoon and then Tuesday mornings I didn't really have to work unless I had extra stuff to do so like it totally worked out. Oh there's a hailstorm. forgot about that. That's a very rare occurrence. One year of the pandemic and then Nathan also got his shot this Saturday because of his job so that was good. Oh I joined the itty bitty PR team this day. I was very excited about that. We watched Soul. I framed my diploma finally and my master's diploma. Cool. Oh, I didn't even say. These were leftovers from the work from home kit, if you couldn't tell. The oh hello one. And then these full boxes and other boxes are also from oh hello. Uh, this was, I think they have this one in shop right now. It's like peacock themed kit. Uh, dealing with a lot of work stuff this particular day, uh, this particular week. Was not happy about it. But yeah, what can you do? Wrote myself a reminder that your job is not your only purpose. <laughs> because that's how I was feeling. Yeah, nothing really happened this week other than like work-related stuff that I can't really talk about. These office-themed full boxes were from a shop called Spork City. She doesn't really do planner kits, but she does boxes, so I bought those. I also mixed in some like functional stickers from Cinderella Paper. Not sure what happened this week. We went on a hike on Saturday. Yeah, we went hiking on this Saturday, and that was when, like, all the wildflowers were in bloom. March and April, like, early April, really beautiful times to visit Southern California, in my opinion. Everything's still green and blooming. If you have allergies, bring your Claritin. But, like, <laughs> beautiful time to be here. The rest of the time, it's dusty and, and brown, so if, if you're okay with that, cool. Um, go to the beach, cool. But if you're looking for greenery, March and April. Come on back. Let's go hang out. I don't know. Don't find me. <laughs> um, I don't know what that was. I'm sorry. I said I wasn't going to make this a million years long, and here we are. We tried to pick out a bed frame and failed because we just couldn't pick one. What a time. Oh, I got, yeah, this is when I got my first, like, peer review committee evaluation back on my work, and it was good. So that was nice. I was really worried about that. I might, actually I do want to go and print photos for each of my monthly notes pages. That's something I did all last year and I was, was consistent with it with my little sprocket and I just have not done it this year, but I'm hoping to catch up soon. Then we move into April and vaccines opened up to pretty much everybody in California, which was great because it just gave me a lot less people to worry about. So I'm really stressed about three people, actually technically five, during this whole year. Nathan, my parents, and Nathan's parents. And once everyone could get vaccinated, I was just like, <sighs> feel like I can breathe and worry about other things instead. Doesn't mean I won't worry, because I always worry. But yeah, we got our second doses. And um, then it was like, 
we were fully vaccinated, so we felt more comfortable doing things. And then like everyone in my family could get vaccinated too. So it was, it was a good time. Oh, I also visited my sister in San Diego uh, at the end of the month because we were both vac vaccinated. Sorry. So this was Easter. This was a kit from Cinderella Paper that I actually wanted to buy last year, but she had like so much good Easter art last year. So I used it this year instead. This was my spring break, but I spent most of it grading because I wasn't fully vaccinated yet. So I'm like, I can't, I don't really want to go anywhere anyway. So let's like set ourselves up to get done with the semester early by just grading through spring break. So I didn't have classes or anything, but uh, I was still grading. Oh, I got my custom Molly this day. Like she sent me the file. That was cute. Um, we got a kitchen cart from Ikea. Picked up some throw pillows, exciting. Did a lot of organization and decorating, which was nice. And then we took a hike on Easter, so that was great. Our cat did a somersault, which was hilarious. I don't even remember why, but she was probably just like running and like did this, it was so funny. Oh, and I said I won Animal Crossing Bunny Day. And by that, I mean I crafted like all the things. I don't know. I just kept saying I won, and Nathan's like, okay. And then these were leftovers from the Easter kit from Cinderella Paper that I used last year. Uh, I got my second COVID shot. Uh, I was up all night with headache, fever, and some nausea. Not a fun time, but, you know, took Tuesday morning mostly to, like, live my life. Um, I still worked that afternoon, but I was working from home, so it wasn't a big deal. I wrote LOL no next to the workout sticker because that did not happen. Yeah, it was just like that one day and it was just like, like the slightest fever, but I just didn't feel good, but it's all over now. My side effects were gone by Wednesday, so that was great. Oh, one of my former students nominated me for an award this week, which like is not why I do what I do. But let me tell you, when I got that email, I'm like, Okay, I'm doing one thing right. At least one person thinks I'm good. So that was nice. I emailed her back and checked in with her. And she is doing well, so that's good. And then Nathan got his second shot as well. We did not schedule anything for this weekend because we're like, you're getting your second shots. Let's, let's not tempt fate. Okay. And then these were leftovers from the kit that I used for my birthday last year. This is also from Cinderella Paper. I used a lot of checklists. Um, was not feeling it this week, I guess. Oh, Nathan's cat passed away this day. She was like 18, I think. Yeah. Oh, apparently other people weren't feeling it this week either because like all my meetings got canceled. <laughs> like ones that I don't call, other people call the meetings and they were just like, we're not doing them today. I'm like, okay, that's fine. More hiking. Oh, we got our plants from the Arboretum this day that we bought from them. We started our annual, uh, it's starting to feel like an annual, like Lord of the Rings marathon where it takes like two days to watch one movie because I have the extended director's cuts on DVD. And then it takes us like three weekends to get through all of them. These were leftovers from the anniversary kit, that, or the kit that I used for my anniversary last year. This is from Simply a Mess. It's like a cafe Parisian themed kit. My vaccine was fully effective and I was really pumped about that. I don't know what this was. Um, we got Yuvi a new fox toy, or cat, I should say. She got her this fox kicker toy that she has basically ripped the face off of at this point. But she loves him and wants to kill him. I don't, I don't, <laughs> whatever, you know, cats. They're little murderers. Hopefully I'm allowed to say that on YouTube without getting, like, in trouble. Whatever. They're little, they're, they're perfect little murderers. So, yeah, more hiking. More Lord of the Rings, more, oh, Zoom planner meetups happened, so that was good. We had our first date at a coffee shop in a long time because our vaccines were effective, so that was great. And then we're going to skip the next week because some stuff happened that I really can't talk about. Not trying to be, like, secretive and stuff, just it's had stuff happen at work and in my personal life that uh, if it was my experience to tell, I would tell you. 
but neither of the things are mine to tell, so I, I feel like I can't really talk about them. But I did go down to San Diego to see my sister, and that was great. We, like, walked on the beach. What else did we do? We just, like, ran errands together because she had things she needed to get done. So it was just nice to see her after, like, not seeing her for so long. And also to see her college apartment because, like, she's not going to live there next year. So I wanted to see it at least once. So, yeah. Then we move into May, which my birthday's in May, and I started using these Oh Hello, um, like, post-COVID bucket list stickers. I have a lot left, clearly. Um, there are some things on here that I'm never going to do, like, I don't use Amazon Prime or Shipt, so those ones don't matter to me. But yeah, I started using them because, like, I went to Trader Joe's for the first time in over a year and didn't feel like I was going to panic, so that was cool. Um, we went out to the restaurant and the farmer's market and just things we didn't do for over a year because we just did not feel comfortable doing them. So, yep. So yeah, celebrated my birthday, celebrated my boyfriend's nephew's birthday. We had a picnic with our former roommates, which was great. And more hiking. These are leftovers from a Cinderella paper kit that I think was like ballerina themed. Um, just a lot of work. May, of course, is the end of the semester, so uh, I'm just working a lot. And we kept hiking. I ordered my new hiking boots as a birthday present to myself. I did a charcuterie board, which was nice. Oh, they were painting our apartment building this week and the week prior, so when they finally uncovered the windows, because they had to cover them up for painting, um, it was a glorious day because it was very dark in our apartment for like a week and that was not fun. And then this was my birthday. This spring birthday kit is from Cinderella Paper. I really love it. It's super pretty. Lots of grading. Um, this was the last week of classes, so teaching my last classes and then just trying to get all those papers graded before my deadline. My boots arrived. Oh, for some reason, I decided to mark that some of my siblings got their second COVID doses this week. I didn't mark everybody. I have a lot of siblings, though, and honestly, not all of them told me the exact day they got vaccinated, so I just marked the ones who told me. <laughs> oh, Nathan finally got his hands on a PS5 this week. Uh, I think this was the day he ordered it. Like I said, we went to the farmer's market. We celebrated my birthday by going to sushi and watching the Aristocats and uh, celebrated his nephew's birthday. Then it was rainy this weekend and we went to downtown Disney, which was fun. This kit is also from Cinderella Paper. This is called Maria, I think. We got our new bed frame, so that was great. We could finally sleep on the mattress that we bought like a month before. <laughs> reading, lots of grading. This was finals week, so I was just trying to get as much grading done as I could. Kind of burned out by Friday because I was like ahead of schedule, so I just kept going, which was good. I got stuff done earlier than I thought, but uh, I was getting kind of crabby towards the end of this. Um, went to dinner with Nathan and his parents, had our picnic with our former roommates, and went on a little hike. The stamp rally happened in Animal Crossing, which was a really cute event. I, I love museums, and I love collecting things at museums, so that was cool. And then this graduation kit is also from Cinderella Paper. This was to mark my youngest sister's high school graduation, which happened this day. I watched it from home because I wasn't in my hometown. And went and got my birthday drink from Pete's Coffee. Submitted grades, so grades were due this day. I got them done a couple days early, and I was like, good job, Jessica. <laughs> and we went to Somi Somi. Oh, we should go again. It's so good. There's a lot of, like, matcha-flavored desserts near me, and I always end up ordering the matcha. And it's always good, so, like, I'm not going to stop. <laughs> then we get into June. This is probably, like, going to be a 40-minute video. I read multiple—I finished multiple books in June, so I'm, I'm proud of myself have actual plans on the schedule because by June it was like, oh, we have like actual things that we can go to. So my graduation happened and my camping trip happened, which was great. I went for like a kind of rainbow theme 
for June because I didn't do a rainbow weekly spread and I did want to mark Pride Month in some meaningful way. So the monthly view it was this taco kit is from Oh Hello. This is so bright and fun. I forgot. There's so much pastel in the planner world on the internet and like you need bold colors sometimes to break it up. So this is cool. We went hiking on Memorial Day. I woke up at 4.30 on Tuesday for no reason. Uh, I finally bought a ticket to visit my family. So that was great. Yeah, so this was the week. Oh, this was the week after the semester ended, but I was doing some training. So I was like working through some modules on Canvas for that training. I made my Dollar Tree wreath that's in my living room. I'm very happy with that. And we had another coffee date, so that's great coffee date. That was great. Oh, and I ordered my new phone, so that was cool. And then this graduation kit is from Simply a Mess, and this was from my graduation. I finished my master's degree last year, if you don't know, and finally got to celebrate it in person this year. So yeah, I was very happy about that. The overlays are from Beautiful Mess Plans Co. I think that's the name of the shop. The washi up here is from Michael's. That was the big thing, was the graduation. My dad flew in, we were allowed two guests, so I wanted Nathan to go and he wanted to go too, so he came and then my dad flew in to go to it as well. And we had dinner at a restaurant that had live music and apparently my dad wouldn't shut up about it to my siblings for like three days because my dad loves music. My dad's a musician, my boyfriend's a musician. Going to dinner with two musicians when there's live music is very interesting. <laughs> So that was, that was a good time. Then this is also from Simply a Mess. This is called The Great Outdoors. I believe she probably still has this in her shop. And the overlays are from her as well. And this is because we went hiking in the San Bernardino National Forest. Again, I feel like I'm just gonna keep saying this. There's a vlog of this. There's not a vlog of my graduation because I did not know how to vlog my graduation without showing you where I currently work. And I don't want you to like, no, I don't need people to come find me at work. Sorry. So anyway, there is a vlog of this camping trip. Supposedly California reopened this day, but at the time of filming this, it's now being recommended we continue wearing masks inside, so we're open. Everything's fine. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we also had two birthdays this week, so my youngest sister and my second sister both had birthdays this week, so marked those. Loved our hiking trip. It was very hot but still loved it. It was great to get away for the weekend. And then I think this is the last spread I'm gonna share. Yeah, for the end of June. This is the Molly freebie from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. that came with the June TPC orders. So I just used that because it was beachy and fun and we did go to the beach this Sunday. The beginning of the week started with taking my cat to the vet because she had a hot spot. You can hear all about that in a very recent plan with me. Everything's fine now, but it was an experience. So yeah, I finally finished this book called The Woman in White, which took me forever to read because it's very long and it was published in like 1860, but I'm glad I read it. Wild ride of a, of a plot in that book for sure. And then I also finished a second book um, called Exit West, which I just, I keep talking about with everybody. I think everyone should read it. I think it's really good, so pick it up. And then, like I said, we went to the beach. So that is January through June. I talked so much. Thank you for listening to me. I hope you like my little stories. I am already deep into July with this. Um, but that will be for, for December or January. We'll look at that later. So I hope you enjoyed all of this. All my rings are turned all around. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. Say hi below. Let me know how your planner has looked for the first half of the year. Have things really changed for you the last six months, like now versus six months ago? Let me know. Let's talk about it. Alrighty, I will see you next time, probably with a plan with me. Goodbye!